In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually calculate odds ratios and the corresponding 95% confidence intervals by using Microsoft Excel. To start with, let me introduce you to my example data. My example data is shown in a classic 2x2 grid. Let's say I performed a case control study to see the association between a specific gene variant, known as G1, with a disease, known as disease X. In this study, there were 45 people with disease X that had the G1 gene variant, and 55 people without disease X that had the G1 gene variant. On the other hand, there were only 20 people with disease X that did not have the G1 gene variant, compared with 80 people without disease X. So how do we go about calculating the odds ratio? If I assign letters to each cell in the grid, I can then reveal the odds ratio formula. This is quite easy to understand. Firstly, we must divide A by C, then we separately divide B by D. Finally, we divide the first answer by the second answer, which gives us the odds ratio. Let's now go ahead and perform this using my example data. In a new cell, I will type in equals and click on the cell that is labelled A in the equation and divide this by the cell that is labelled C. This will calculate the odds of carrying the G1 gene variant among those with disease X. The result is an odds of 2.25. I will then repeat this process for the controls. So in a new cell, I will type in equals Click on the cell that is B in the equation and divide this with the second cell that is labelled D in the equation. This will calculate the odds of carrying the G1 gene variant in those without disease X. The result in this case is an odds of 0.69. Finally, to calculate the odds ratio, simply divide the first odds by the second. So in a new cell, I will enter equals, click on the cell with the first odds, divided by the cell with the second odds and press enter. So the odds for this example was 3.27. But what does this mean? In this case, we can say that the odds of carrying the G1 gene variant were 3.27 times higher among those with disease X compared with those without disease X. So now you know how to calculate the odds ratio. How do you go about calculating the 95% confidence intervals for the odds ratio? The confidence interval gives a range for the true odds ratio for the population to fall within. The equation to do this is presented on screen. But don't worry, it's not as confusing as it may seem. We just need to break it down into different steps. Let's firstly calculate the natural log of the odds ratio. So in a new cell, I will enter equals and then type in ln, open bracket, click on the cell containing the odds ratio, close the bracket, and then press enter. In this case, the natural log of the odds ratio is 1.186. Let's now calculate the upper 95% confidence interval. In a new cell, I will enter the following, equals exp, open bracket. I will click on the cell containing the natural log of the odds ratio, plus 1.96 multiplied by the square root of open bracket, one divided by the first cell containing the data, plus one divided by the second cell containing the data, plus one divided by the third cell containing the data, plus one divided by the fourth cell containing the data. And then I will close all of the brackets and then press the enter key. To calculate the lower 95% confidence interval, the process is exactly the same, but this time we must subtract the second part of the equation instead of adding. An easy way to do this is to simply copy the formula we entered previously and paste this into a new cell. Then replace the plus with a subtraction and press enter. So the 95% confidence intervals in this example are 1.75 and 6.14. Taken together, we can say that the odds of carrying the G1 gene variant were higher among those with disease X compared with those without disease X. And then in brackets, we can state that the odds ratio equals 3.27 and the 95% confidence intervals 
of 1.75 and 6.14. And that wraps up this tutorial. In this tutorial, you have learned how to calculate the odds ratio and 95% confidence intervals in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.